As you have been on your life journey, you may see salvation as the finish line. But in your abundant life journey, salvation is actually the starting line of a whole new you. At the starting gate, we want to help you know the first few choices you'll need to make. If you are working through doubts, answering questions, and wrestling with what to do with Jesus, your next decision is salvation. Trusting Jesus as Savior isn't just a mental agreement that there is a God or that Jesus was a real person. It is a faith decision, including your head, heart, and heels, that Jesus is your only hope and you are surrendering to Him. You should give your life to Christ when the Holy Spirit convicts you of your sin, not just as an intellectual exercise. A couple of things you need to know. Before salvation, you have a certain freedom. Before you choose to follow Jesus as Lord and Savior, you are free to do whatever your flesh wants. You still belong to yourself and can keep on loving yourself first. But before salvation, you also can't claim any of the promises of God. You haven't joined his family and don't have any of the rights of those who are his children. You can talk to a pastor, discipler, or Christian friend to find out what the Bible says about how to surrender your life to Christ and become a Christian today. If you have made the choice to give up self and follow Christ, welcome to the family. Your next decision is to obey God's call to believer's baptism. Believer's baptism is not a second step of salvation. It's a first step of obedience after salvation. It is publicly declaring you belong to Jesus and you've chosen Jesus as your Savior. You can get baptism settled by contacting one of the pastors for an appointment to discuss it and get your day scheduled. If you have made the choice to follow the Lord in Believer's Baptism, congratulations! Your next step is to commit to a local community of Christians through church membership. There are many things to consider when evaluating a biblical church. And if you need help knowing what to look for, we would be glad to assist you. A couple of things you need to know. Not joining a church has a kind of freedom. Before you choose to commit to a local church, you're free to attend as little or as much as you want. Free to not serve. Free from Christian accountability and free to not participate in body life. But... Not joining a church also means that you can't claim any of the rights or protections of membership. You have no shepherd looking out for you, no obligation of the family to provide for you, and no rights to the resources of the church as a mere spectator. Membership comes by commitment, but you should do your homework first, since committing to a church family is a big deal. Discovering membership is your connection point with a pastor about GBC's doctrine and practice before making GBC your home. We hope this helps you know how to start running your race.